Good afternoon. My name is Keith Otterberg, and I'm the marketing director for the College of Extended and International Education at California State University, Dominguez Hills. I'll be your host for this presentation. Welcome. This webinar is being recorded and will be available on our website and social media resources shortly after the presentation. Before we jump in, I'd like to review the Zoom controls. This session is being presented in webinar format, so you don't have to worry about your uh, microphone or camera. However, we want your participation. Please help us address your needs by using the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen if you're joining us from the Zoom desktop app or web browser, or in the top right of your screen if you're using a mobile device. Please ask your questions in the Q&A rather than in the chat panel. In the chat panel, we will be providing helpful links and other information. Once you click the Q&A button, a dialog box will open, uh, allowing you to type in your question. Our marketing staff members, Stephanie Biukian and Anissa Barton Thompson, and program director Elizabeth Legg are standing by to assist you. We'll be answering those questions at the end of the session, though you may find that your question has been answered during the course of the presentation. We will also have an information kit that you can download that has links and information about all the topics we will be presenting today. The link is at bit.ly slash CSUDH dash CEIE dash info kit. The link is in the chat for those who are participating live. So let's get started. The goal today is to give you a little bit of information about what our college does and how it can help you. Most students don't know about extended education. To begin with, we serve more than 15,000 students annually. We have more than 50 programs, including campus-based as well as online and international programs. We're gonna talk about four types of programs today. We'll talk about our intercessions and how they can help you graduate faster, how our international programs can help expand your perspective, and finally, how you can benefit from our professional development programs. These include master's degrees as well as certificate programs, which are courses taken outside of your normal studies, but which will help you transition into the working world. So first our intercessions. We have three intercession programs, winter session, spring intercession, and summer session. These sessions give you more options to fulfill your requirements for graduation. You can knock out a requirement in just a few weeks, getting you that much closer to graduating. In addition, faculty often experiment by offering new classes, so this is a time where you can take a class that isn't offered during the rest of the year. And best of all, if you're taking between one and 11 units, it's cheaper than taking courses in the fall and spring. First up is winter session. Winter session starts in mid-December, just after fall classes end and goes until mid-January. This is the perfect time to knock out a three unit class in three to four weeks. Registration starts in late October. The cost is $303 a unit and financial aid can be used. You need to speak with your financial aid advisor about uh, details for your situation. We also have payment plans available. If you're interested in a payment plan, contact the registration office at CEEREG at CSUDH.edu for information. Courses and dates change each year. So for a list of this year's courses and registration information, visit csudh.edu slash winter. Next is spring intercession. This is a session that starts at the end of the regular spring term and runs until the end of June. Registration starts in late November at, uh, on the Monday after Thanksgiving, and you must be registered by early February to receive Pell Grant funding for these classes. Like winter session, the cost is $303 a unit, Financial aid can be used and payment plans are also available. For information about spring intercession, visit csudh.edu slash spring in. You register for winter or spring by visiting mycsudh. If you have any issues with your registration, you can contact our registration office at 310-243-3741, option one. They will be able to help you. Finally, we have summer session. There are three sessions for summer session. 
Sessions one and two are six weeks long and regular session is 12 weeks long. Registra registration starts in mid-March. The fees are $297 a unit for undergraduate courses, plus a few other fees. Like winter and spring, financial aid can be used and payment plans are available. Summer information is usually posted in February. Courses and dates change each year as they do for the other sessions. And so for information, visit csudh.edu slash summer. Register on my CSUDH and contact our registration office if you have any uh, issues with your registration. Finally, for all the intersessions, winter, spring, and summer, you should talk to your academic advisor about which classes you should take to best fit into your graduation program plan. And finally, as we mentioned, uh, these courses are cheaper than taking them in the fall and the spring if you're taking between one and 11 units. This is just a listing of how much money you save by taking courses during winter and spring and summer. Next up are our international programs. The college organizes all study abroad programs, and we have monthly information sessions where you can find out what you need to know uh, to study abroad and how you can fund it. For more information, visit csudh.edu slash study abroad. Our college also recruits all the international students that come to campus, including international groups from government agencies and companies. Finally, we have a passport facility right here in extended education. If you need to get or renew your passport, visit csudh.edu slash passport to make an appointment. It's much better than going to, to the uh, post office. So after you graduate, what are you gonna do next? One route would be a master's degree program. Extended education offers eight different master's programs, most of them online. These are regular CSUDH degree programs and compared to most master's programs are very low priced. Take a look at the programs we offer. They include negotiation and conflict resolution, quality assurance, public administration, social work, cybersecurity, orthotics and prosthetics, systems engineering, and radiologic and imaging sciences. Next, Extension Program Director Elizabeth Flagg is gonna talk about professional certificate programs and how they can help you to get a foothold in the working world. Great, thank you, Keith. In addition to the degree and international programs Keith discussed, the college also offers a wide array of courses in fields such as business, communication, quality assurance, healthcare, education, and project management. These professional development courses offer specialized skills to help individuals improve and hone their professional knowledge and competencies. Developed with experienced practitioners and subject matter experts, extension courses provide practical training and help you gain the skills needed to further your career. Before we explore some more details about our certificate programs, we'd like to get your feedback. For those attending live, we are launching a poll now with some questions about our programs. We'll be reviewing these results later in today's presentation. All right. So uh, most of our programs can be completed in six months to one year and do not require an application process. During the pandemic, we converted our in-person courses to be conducted either live online or asynchronously online convenient for busy schedules. Live online courses are scheduled for weeknights and evenings and asynchronous classes enable students to complete weekly coursework when it's convenient for them. In order to receive credit for the class and earn the program certificate, students must attend and participate in every class session. In addition to learning from instructors, these interactive courses are excellent opportunities for networking and expanding one's professional contacts. Most courses include projects and assignments that can be used as portfolio pieces and in demonstration of acquired skills and abilities. Most of our certificate programs award continuing education units, 
which do not count toward academic degrees. However, the courses are noted on an official CSUDH transcript and almost all culminate in a certificate of completion, along with a digital credential that can be shared on social media platforms such as LinkedIn. The digital credential also become, becomes part of a comprehensive learner record, which is a digital backpack displaying job ready skills and competencies. There are a few programs which issue academic credit and can be applied toward your degree. These include purchasing, supply chain management, and sport fitness psychology. We also have a few on-campus courses. One program of note is our emergency medical technician training course. Approved by Los Angeles County Emergency Medical Services Agency, CSUDH's EMT training course provides hands-on skills training, lecture, and fieldwork experience. Suitable for a variety of schedules, the EMT hybrid course includes live online Zoom lectures with on-campus skills training, including our fully functional ambulance, which was generously donated by MedReach Ambulance Company. All students participate in ride-along shifts with one of our partner ambulance companies through the field work component. With this certificate, you can get a job right away as an EMT and help earn your way through college. In fact, many ambulance companies are currently offering sign-on bonuses. This is a good entry-level job for a career in the health industry or for anyone working their way through college. To register for certificate classes, please call the Extended Education Registration Office at 310-243-3741, option one. Payment is due at the time of registration. While there are not financial aid or payment plans available, you can pay for courses individually or register for an entire program. Professional student loans are available through Sally May under the career loan category. Unemployed and underemployed individuals may be eligible for funding under the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act. For more information, please email our WIOA specialist at WIOA at csudh.edu. Our extension programs and trainings offer in-demand skills and practical knowledge, opportunities to stand out and get ahead in your career. Now I'll turn it back over to Keith. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, we have uh, the results from our poll. Uh, so uh, as you can see, um, uh, looks like more than half of you wanna take an intercession class but need more information. Well, that's what we're here for. Uh, and 31% of you have already taken a class. Um, uh, only 15% of you don't plan to take a class and you're here for other, other information. And in terms of certificate programs, it looks like 46% uh, of you did not know you could take a certificate program. Well, now you do. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll give you information and we can answer some of your questions about that to help get you started. So to recap, um, if you want to contact us, the, the uh, extensions or the folders in the CSUDH website are pretty obvious. Uh, extended education is slash CEIE, and you can find our master's and certificate programs by going to professional programs in that folder. For winter session, the folder is slash winter, spring intercession slash spring in, summer session slash summer, and study abroad slash study abroad and uh, not listed there as the passport office and that's slash passport. So um, it's pretty easy to get to what, what we have. So now we're gonna, uh, we're gonna have questions. So if you could please use the Q and A button to uh, ask any questions, we'll be, uh, we'll be happy to answer them for you. So the first, the first question is, uh, are there any undergraduate or minor programs available in engineering uh, and no financial aid, correct? Um, unfortunately, we don't have any uh, undergraduate programs in engineering. We do have a master's program in systems engineering, uh, which might interest you. Um, but uh, at this time, uh, CSUDH does not have any engineering programs.
So uh, some of the, oh, here we go. How do you register for intercession? Uh, yes, you can register through the intercession. If you're a CSUDH student, you can register uh, for the intercessions through my CSUDH. Um, sometimes uh, things get complicated in there. And so if, if there is an issue, uh, if you're blocked from registering or some other issue, please call our registration office at 310-243-3741, uh, option one. They are experts in navigating through PeopleSoft and can help get you registered. Other, session, other questions come up usually in terms of how many units people can take during the uh, winter, spring, and summer. Uh, usually people take uh, one to four units during winter. However, you can uh, uh, request to be able to take six units by uh, filling out an exceed maximum credit form. Uh, that's fairly straightforward. And if you're willing to put in the time, then, uh, then we will sign that form and uh, get you started. Uh, usually people take uh, six units, uh, up to six units during the spring intercession and uh, people take anywhere from three units to 12 units during summer session. So um, uh, you can get a lot of units knocked out uh, in that way. Again, for all these uh, sessions, uh, financial aid is available, but you need to contact the financial aid office. They will uh, be able to see where they can parse your financial aid uh, into these uh, intercessions. And uh, if, uh, if uh, you don't have financial aid available, you can contact our office and set up a payment plan uh, to take these courses. So we have another question that says, um, hi, I'm an undergraduate uh, Dominguez Hill student. My major is business administration with an emphasis in HR. I was wondering if I take the HR management certificate courses, will some of these classes be able to count toward my major? Uh, the answer is no, uh, these are non-credit courses, um, so they won't help you with your major. However, they do give you very practical information to help you get into the field. And that is the value of all these certificate programs is that it is uh, very much on the ground, practical experience taught by professionals in the field. And so, uh, so it can help you uh, get into the field. If you feel that your uh, uh, major is enough, then that's probably fine for you. Um, but uh, the practical experience you get in these courses is, is invaluable. If we can add to that, there's also some uh, discussion going on through the Academic Senate about potentially allowing some course content to be reviewed for experiential learning or uh, work experience credit. And this may be something that you can talk to your um, academic advisors and your program coordinators in your, um, your major degree program uh, to get a little bit more feedback on. Keith, we have a question about what does it look like um, when someone completes a certificate? Uh, it, there's a digital badge that's attached to it. How does that work? Anissa, why don't you answer that one? Okay, well, I'll throw that one in. So um, that is a, a, an opportunity for a student when they complete a certificate program. Uh, we actually have digital badging through Badger, um, and that means that your course content and your skills that you've picked up in that particular program actually go into a what we call a comprehensive learner record and it's basically your digital backpack for any and all experiences that you um, have garnered as you go through different types of programs certificates workshops training programs not only here at Dominguez Hills but across any um, academic experience that you uh, may encounter and so that actually adds to your credentials and they can then be added to your social media, to your LinkedIn profile, to your resume, um, any digital credentials that you're sharing. It's a great way for you to be able to add that additional experience and quantify what you're learning in addition to your academic experience. So hope that helps. 
think of these certificate programs as a way to augment what you're learning in, uh, in your regular CSUDH studies. You're going to need some uh, practical experience, maybe some internships, some summer jobs, that sort of thing. And the certificate programs help give you skills to help get into uh, the fields that they, that they cover. Uh, you're going to need all that uh, when you uh, apply for your first, first job after graduation in order to um, get a foothold in the, in the working world. So now is a good time to start thinking about that. Um, I, I know you have a lot, of, a lot on your mind in terms of completing your studies, but you need to be thinking more broadly in terms of getting yourself ready for uh, the job market. Elizabeth, uh, anything else uh, you want to say about the certificates? Um, I think that I really wanted to add on to what you said, Keith, that these are really the practical experience to complement the uh, education earned through a degree program. Um, for example, with the question about our HR programs, one thing that came to mind is all of the tools that students get to take away from those HR programs, uh, such as different templates and guides so that they can actually go and implement HR programs within their workplaces. So these are definitely uh, a great uh, great set of programs to have on your resume and within your credentials. Very good. And just looking at some of the programs, you mentioned EMT, that'll get you a job right away, even while you're still in school. And uh, uh, the project management certificate is a great tool to have no matter what kind of job you get into because you're going to need to manage projects as you as you move up the ladder so this is a skill that's apply applicable to all fields um, somebody is asking the q a uh, for the hr management certificate if you need to take the classes in a certain order i'll give that to you elizabeth yeah so we have actually two programs in hr management our human resources management certificate is the entry-level program, and those four courses may be taken in any order, whatever is suitable for your schedule. Our business partner certificate is a higher level of uh, human resources management training, and those courses do need to be taken sequentially. There are three courses in that program. Okay. Um, I have another question. Can I do a certificate program as I am completing my bachelor's? Yes, you can. Uh, that's that's what we're advocating here is that you is that you do them simultaneously. Uh, maybe you do one over the course of a summer or the course of a, a summer and fall, uh, whatever fits your schedule. Uh, our courses run year round, so um, you should be able to find uh, a schedule that fits your schedule. Let's see if there's anything else. Anybody have any questions uh, about our certificate programs, our intercession programs, or our master's degree programs, or our international programs? We're not seeing any other questions. All right. Oh, there All right. is one new one. Okay, uh, is there a sports management certificate or master's degree? Um, we did have a, we do have a sports management certificate. Uh, it's on hold right now. Uh, there was not enough interest in the program, uh, but we may be resurrecting that program uh, in the near future. So stay, stay tuned to our website and we'll, and you'll find out. After, okay, another question is, after you complete the certificate course, do you have any networking events for alumni? For example, if you attended, meet in small groups, network and discuss issues facing HR. Uh, not quite, but we do have our social media pages. We have for every major program area, say uh, human resource management, project management, construction project management, uh, we have both LinkedIn and Facebook pages where um, professionals as well as people looking to get into the field can uh, network and um, 
and uh, discuss issues, as you as you say, as well as uh, learn about uh, events in the field and so forth. So that's the place to um, to connect with other people uh, in your in your field or industry. Okay, uh, are there any certificates I can't take as I complete my undergrad? Um, there are a couple of, um, of certificates that are geared or at the master's degree level. Um, so it would be, it's, it's strongly recommended that you, that you not do those until you complete your master's, uh, your bachelor's degree, excuse me. For instance, community college teaching, uh, in order to teach at a community college, you need to have a master's degree yourself. So um, uh, we require people to um, complete their master's degree before they do that prog program. Um, assistive technology is another program that's uh, conducted at the master's level. However, most of our programs are at the undergraduate level. And so it's fine for you to, uh, to do these courses while you're still an undergraduate. Any other questions? All right, well, we would love to uh, get your feedback on today's session. Uh, if we can, uh, uh, please let us know how we can improve the quality of the information provided. Um, the, uh, the website to go to is bit.ly slash csudh webinar feedback. There's a, there's a link in the chat uh, for those who are participating live. We'll stay in the session for just a few minutes more to give everybody a chance to jot down any last minute notes, download any links and so forth. Um, and once again, thank you for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate the uh, opportunity to reach out to you and tell you how we can help you. Uh, please uh, contact us if you've got any questions in the future. Uh, we're available via live chat. We're also uh, have an email, learn at csudh.edu. And uh, uh, so please reach out to us if you have any questions uh, or would like to um, give us any feedback. Thanks very much. <laughs>